Hey, hey, you guys, it's Christina from the Purple Alphabet, and I wanted to try out some Pinterest-inspired sensory bags and let you know if they are a win or a fail. So first off, you're gonna need some Ziploc bags. I have three here, because I'm gonna try three different ones, and then you're gonna need some supplies. I found at the Dollar Tree a big bottle of hair gel, the biggest one I could find, and also a can of shaving cream. Some optional supplies would include some um, items to put inside the sensory bags. I just had these leftover uh, little chips here, colored chips. You may also so want to use some food coloring and I am going to be using packing tape to seal the bags up. Now I did this, I did something similar a while back in one of my first videos and that was paint mixing and where I put different color paints in bags and you can go back and see that video if you like and we really like that so I have high hopes for these sensory bags that would um, be really entertaining for my kids. So in the first one, I am putting a whole bunch of hair gel into the bag here. And after I've done that, I'm going to add all of my little colored rainbow um, counter chips and make sure you get all of the air out. Very, very important that you get the, all the air out. My bag was a little bit too large in comparison to my bottle size, but that's okay. I just made the bag a little bit smaller by rolling down the top. So I'm rolling it down pretty tight here. I'm gonna secure it with tape all the way around so the contents can't come out. Another option would be to double bag it or to make sure you're playing outside or on a tablecloth for easy clean up. This one turned out pretty well. I'm liking how you can squish around the gel and the little um, rainbow colored. It works good because the gel is clear and the rainbow colors look really pretty. I'd say this one is a thumbs up. Next I'm going to try with the shaving cream. So I'm spraying the shaving cream in here. It's not as easy to do as I thought it would be and I am going to make sure I get all of that air out which was a little bit difficult and now I have kind of a squishy foamy almost like a pillow texture to it. Sensory bag and moving it around. Um, I want to try adding in the those colored uh, rainbow chips and I put them in and it just didn't quite work. The shaving cream went all over them. You couldn't really see the rainbow colors very well. I'd say that that is a fail. Next, I wanted to try the color mixing experiment because we had so much fun with that with the color mixing paint. I thought it might work well. I filled it up with shaving cream, added my food coloring, a blue on one side and red on the other side and sealed it up as well. Went to town trying to mix it. And you know what, this one just didn't really cut the cake. I don't know, maybe I needed more food coloring, less shaving cream. It just was not as fun as mixing the paint colors together. So I'd have to give this one a thumbs down. But I will have to say that playing with the shaving cream was kind of fun poking it around in there. I just wish I had something else to find or look or to push around like I did in the gel bag. So those are my Pinterest wins and fails for today on sensory bags. Click subscribe to see more videos like this and give me a thumbs up to show your love. Letters for a little bit more of a sensorial experience of pushing them around and searching and exploring for those letters.